Now, I really didn't want to make this video, but in my situation, kind of had to. I'm letting go of a bunch of stuff that I've been hoarding on to for a long time. Most people come to me when they want shrimp, and this will give you an idea that I'm not only shrimp, and I do a lot more. So, let's do this. Now, I'm not a writer. Okay. How's it going? Hope you guys are all doing great. If not, I hope it gets better for you. Now, for this video, this is something I've been kind of dreading doing. I'm not a salesperson. My least favorite thing about this hobby is having to sell my stuff. But at the same time, I've got to keep this fish room running. And it's it gets costly I, I admit it gets costly to run all these tanks and saying that I thought it would be better to actually make a video for you guys to see what's available instead of just a couple pictures on the website and this way it's you're not shopping blindly you're not shopping blindly on the internet and you can actually see what you'll be getting and for those who follow me you know I haven't been selling much for quite a few months now and I had a loan to do the water change system and stuff like that and that's kind of dwindled away and now I'm hitting the second month on my bills and my electric bill is probably the biggest one and it comes in about $500 a month so I'm almost on my second month of that also keep in mind that the availability of these is limited I don't have enough for nearly everybody who may want them so the availability is limited because I got to keep my numbers up and stuff like that so we'll see how this first round goes with them everything's home bred nothing's imported fish rooms cleansed it's clean it's like these are top-notch top quality stuff so I hope you guys enjoy and I want to thank you all who super chatted me last Friday stream. That was amazing of you guys, and I really appreciate that. And just quick shout out to you guys. And a big reason why I haven't been selling is mostly because my time with Wesley, I'm a full-time dad pretty much. I used to say I was part-time, but it's pretty much gone to full-time now all week long. I watch him. And also I was cleansing the fish room and I was building that water change system and everybody knows me for shrimp so most people they just come to me when they want shrimp but I am more than just shrimp actually I'm only about 30% shrimp in my fish room granted 30% is quite a few tanks but I do have lots of plants lots of fish and some other stuff so that's what I'm gonna show you guys in this video I'll have, like I mentioned, fish, shrimp, or fish plants. And to let you know, the shrimp will be available again. I'm hoping around November 4th, my ideal and reasoning to hoarding how many I have is for the fact that I want to try to get as many people the shrimp that is possible. Because I know a lot of you guys have been waiting, and I hate to just offer some and then pretty much be sold out right again so i'm hoping to get the numbers up hoping to keep a continuous flow for you guys and i've been working a lot on that and yeah so let's let's get started let's start off with these fish these fish right in front of me actually i'll just flop you guys over look at these these lime green endlers they're gonna be on there so i've got everything on the website and most of them don't have pictures, but here you can actually see videos. So keep that in mind. They may not have pictures on there, but you guys are seeing them here. So I'll have these lime green endlers. They'll be $20 a pair, which all these endlers and guppies are going to be cheaper than what I paid for them. Just because I like to try to keep the price down as low as possible. And I might as well show these guys next. These are the wild black bar endlers. They're really close and really similar to the lime green but you can see their body is more of the orange and the black 
than the actual lime green. And these guys I will have for $10 a pair. And also have lots of these blue star endlers. Just get a beautiful coloration on them. And you see they got some wild tails too. And these blue star endlers, they're already on the website. But I did mark down the price and they are $20 a pair. $30 for two pairs and $100 for eight pair colony. And we'll come back to this tank too because I'm gonna, I got this on for sale. Which I'll link the website down in the description. I'll pin it in the comments, everything else for you guys. But it's lrbaquatics.com. Got a little mess in here too. Ended up having a tank go down on me. So that kind of bit. Now I'm actually missing two tanks over here. I have to get them replaced. I was thinking about selling some of these guys, but I'm not quite sure exactly what they are. I can't remember. I think they're yellow tail pastel or something like that. Here's what an older male looks like. So if any, any of you guys know what kind of guppy these are, let me know in the comments, please. Maybe I'll have some available soon. And everything in this video, I'm actually going to put in a special buy section on the website. That way you guys, it makes it easier for you guys to get to on the website and you know of the stuff that was featured in this video. I do have other stuff that's not being featured here. So if you want to venture through everything, feel free. But I figure it'd make it easier if I just put this in a special buy section for you guys. So check that out, it'll be at the top of the categories. All right, now back after that little sidetrack. And also got some Scarlet Red Endlers, which I'll be selling these for $25 a pair. Really cool fish. And they love that guppy grass, as you can see. Now I've also got some Dumbo Ear Panda Guppies which I'm gonna have those for $25 a pair. And it probably won't be this big one here, but more like this size as far as the pairs go. But as you can see, their ears get huge. And here I have the Champion Pearl Moscow Guppies, which I'll have these for 35 a pair. Glass is kind of dirty. I haven't had time to scrape it. I'm kind of like a day before water change right now too. But you can see they got beautiful color to them. Real consistent. I probably spent twice that just to get them. Now these guys aren't for sale, but I wanted to share with you guys. I've been making a male only guppy and endler tank. I'm pretty stoked about it. I think it's gonna look neat by the time it's all done and said with. It's a 30 gallon, yeah, 30 gallon in the office right now. There's not many in it yet. I'm gonna keep chucking them in there. It should get pretty cool, but I wanted to share that with you guys. And just to help make this video informative i'll give you guys a little nugget here of what i'm doing the reason why i've got all these males in here these were randoms and then some i just pulled out because i had excess of them and wanted some of them in here like the koi's and some of the other guppies but some of them i didn't know what they were or they got mixed in they got into a barrel somewhere i didn't know where they belong so i stuck all the well i guess misfits in here as far as the males and then put all the mismatched females in here so what will happen and then i have all the fries mix match mix matched fry in here so what i'll do is when these females have babies i'll throw the mix match babies into the 14 gallon then eventually they'll be all cleared out, won't be able to give birth. 
and then I don't know, maybe I can use them to blend and braid a new type of inler from here. So that should be interesting. Get my females all cleared out and then I can kind of pick and choose. And then as these fry get older, I can take the males and females part later. All right, now back after that little side and track. Now moving to the rainbow fish. So these are the Goldie Eye Melanotania Dekais. And I wasn't really planning on selling these guys. Terrible reflections, not really doing them much justice. But here, I'll show you what the uh, older one looks like. This is what they look like when they get older. There you can see the male in the center. It's got the yellow fins and the blue on them. There's another one. That Bowman eye is looking really good. There's another one. So they got lots of color on them. Super rare. These were acquired from Gary Lang. And they will be $40 each. I also got these Glossolepis Dorotii rainbow fish, which I'll be doing these $70 for a trio of them. And the older they get, the more colorful they get. But it's hard to find Dorotii of this quality. These were from Marcel, who got them from Gary. And even with this light, there you go. You can see how even as a juvenile has great color on it. I also have some Pseudomugle Arutu rainbow fish. Now this is a great nano small tank fish. As you can see, they're really cool at schooling. And these are really hard to find, the Arutus. These also came from Gary. I got these from him at the Aquatic Experience last year. And I will have these guys for $30 a pair. And I'll probably also add some of the male, since I'm kind of male heavy here, on there as well. But once again, they're limited. Only got so many. And I also have two pairs of Peacock Gobi Gungeons that I'm gonna end up selling. There's a female. There's the male. Hiding back there. He's a little smaller. Kinda hard to get a good video. Over with all this reflection. It's one bad thing about hanging the lights. Makes everything easy to get into, but as far as photographing, it's really a pain. There we go. Get them in the right light. I got two pairs of them and I'm going to do a pair for $20. Which I've got a video on how to breed these guys. I've bred them before. So I think it's time for me to move on to something else. Alright, so that does it for the fish. Let's move on to the plants. So here I've got some moss. I believe it's peacock moss, but you can see there there's a scud in it. And these have been scaped and cleaned by scuds. No algae. Absolutely clean. The only thing about them is they have scuds in them, which isn't entirely a bad thing. I just don't recommend them for shrimp tanks that you plan on selling out of after a while. But they make a good... Uh, food source for fish and you can see how well they've groomed and scaped this moss so I'll have that for six dollars a sandwich bag full which is actually quite a bit because I ball it up densely in the sandwich bag and once you pull it out and stick it in a tank you'd be surprised how much moss you actually get and I've also got this giant willow moss in here that has also been scaped by scuds. You can see here there's actually blue dreams that live in with the scuds. So the scuds and shrimp, they get along fine. And you can see how, how well they've taken care of this giant willow moss. Absolutely clean, no algae anywhere. It's amazing what they do. Absolutely amazing. 
The same deal, six dollars for a sandwich bag full. Look here in the center. This is a big scud. This is what's been scaping them. It's a type of like big copiopog, kind of like, kind of like shrimp. There's not a whole lot of them floating around. Oh, there's one. But I'll also have those available for a dollar a piece. They're great for starting up a colony for a food source for fish. I also have a video about these scuds, how they're the ultimate aquascapers. I had these buches in a video it showed where I pulled it out the next day out of this ultimate algae battle tank I had. And they ended up cleaning blackbeard algae and all this other algae I couldn't beat, which I'm usually pretty good at beating algae. And they just cleared it off of the plant in like no time. And I'll also have some Daphnia starter cultures for you guys too. Five dollars each for the Daphnia starter cultures. She got a whole tank of full of them. So you get, you'll get quite a bit of these. Anybody who's bought from me knows I'm not stingy and I'll hook it up. And this is Pilo Moss here. And this is a rare moss. Grows really well. You can see no algae in it. Really clean. And this doesn't have any scuds. Only those other kinds had scuds. But I did drop this for sale. I normally have it on there. But I did drop the price of it because I got quite a bit of it and it'll be nine bucks for a bag full, sandwich bag full. And not sure if I put the peacock moss in there for sale on a special buy, but I do have that and just throwing that in there. Can't wait till these grow up. These are C. Allen I babies. And I've also got these big stems of Hygrophilia compacta, which I've got mostly large cuttings I need to do. So you see this plant, it's pretty tall. It's just grown real tall. I'm pretty much going to snap it down to here so you get that big cutting. And what you can do is you can take some of these leaves off, make a palm tree. It's really neat. That'll cause it to bush out too, or you can just let it grow as normally and it'll shoot out and run like that. But I've got quite a bit of that to get rid of as well. And I also got a lot of beautiful looking Hygrophilia Gustafolia for sale as well. Which this, I have that in many different sizes. You see it's, it's nice when it flows across the tank. Even over here on this side it's actually growing up and out. So you'll get like these purplish leaves you see there. And you'll actually lit off purple flowers, so it's really cool. I've had it grown up and out of a tank before. It looks really neat. One of my favorites. Hey, glass cats are actually out. There you guys go. I bet you guys rarely ever see those. You guys didn't even know I had those. There's actually a pretty big school of them in there. And also have some crypts for sale. And quite a few different tanks. These are the bronze crypts. I've been hoarding a lot of crypts. Which I'll have these bronze crypts which are pretty big. They've been growing a long time. They'll be $5 a piece. Either way it's still a good deal for. Actually grown under the water. Plants. Because it's taken me a long time to get these to this And size. I've also got a ton of huteri. Which is a rare crypt it's really neat because it'll bull ache, get the dimples all over it it's really cool these are the smaller ones i have that are a year to a couple years old and i did knock the price off down on those so they're they've got a sales price and then this huge mat of crypt hudori I've got to do something about it, so I'm going to end up selling, doing a big deal on these. And for reference, this is a 40 gallon breeder. But I'm going to do a big deal on these. I'm going to slash these pretty much half off if you buy 10 or more. So the sales price is at $20 and 
for 10 of them i'm gonna have 10 for a hundred dollars for a partial mat so you'll have them connected real nice grown mat which will definitely grow well for you but i definitely need to get this uncongested we got all these starburst endlers in here there's even some barts rye hiding down there but i can't do anything with that until i get it growing more I also have some metallic red aphenus crypts which this gets a nice beautiful red on it i've actually just got a new light on this so you see the new growth is starting to get a lot more of the red on it uh, it has a higher light and i'm going to do these for 15 dollars each it's taken me a long time to get this mat this big and crypts are like a fine wine you just got to take your time with them but it's time to thin those out some Ooh, look at that one pretty but yeah those will be fifteen dollars each which is a great deal for those love those fish and i also have a bunch of nuri crypts i don't know if it's a mutated version or just regular nuri crypt but i'll also have those for fifteen dollars each a very beautiful crypt tiger like stripes you get a top view top views are always nice there you can see staying pretty low now i've also got a bunch of this corkscrew valve which is kind of hard to see right now with the reflection but many of you guys have seen it in my videos it's that corkscrew valve gets kind of red i mean it's still really red there's some algae in it but i'll take out as much algae as i can so you won't hardly get any algae there's a good view but bag full of this five dollars i'll make sure it's a good portion there's some orange shrimp down there all right so i'm pretty sure i covered it all wasn't my favorite video to make but at the same time some good shots i think here and there of stuff you guys may not even known i had check out my site lrbaquatics.com and it'll all be in the special buy section where you guys can get this stuff and like i said i figured this would be a lot easier than just throwing a photo up on the website and not really give you guys an idea of what you're really getting and this way you guys can see i wish they would allow you to put videos instead of pictures on i think that would be great for a website but unfortunately that's not how their platform works so i hope you guys enjoyed until next time peace Uh, for those who...